dear students welcome to s dot math guru classes so our main discussion is linear partial differential equation with constant coefficient so here uh, we solve some problems different types of problems if exponential given if trigonometric given on right hand side for particular integral now if we get this algebraic we consider case number 4 when f of x y equal x to the power m y to the power n a particular integral 1 by d d dash f to the power y to the power n and this one we express in this way this to the power minus 1 x to the power y to the power n and here if m is greater than n then we taking d common from this we taking d common and we express in powers of d dash by d if m is less than n then we express uh, we taking d dash common from these two we taking d dash common thus you have to remember a m is greater than n means we taking we taking uh, d common and m less than n we taking d dash common and we solve in this way d dash for y and d uh, d means x coefficient so we write in this way so this is the rules let us consider our problem now consider this problem solve d, d square dj square z equal to x square y square now first you have to find auxiliary equation in auxiliary equation we putting d equal to m and d dash equal to 1 this equal to 0 so this one so d m square equal to minus 1 m equal to plus minus root over minus 1 then m equal to plus minus i we get this so we get this one therefore complementary function equal to f1 y plus ix and f2 y minus ix we get this is our complementary function now particular integral this is x square y square by d square d dash square so both the powers are same so taking d square common actually is uh, this power is greater than this power then we taking d common and this one greater than this we taking d dash common but here both the parts same we taking d common so 1 plus d dash square by d square and this is x square y square and this is 1 by d square and this one taking in numerator 1 plus d dash square by d square all to the power minus 1 x square y square we get this but in binomial series we know this 1 plus x whole to the power minus 1 this is 1 minus x plus x square minus x cube plus dot 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 these are binomial series now expand this in binomial series 1 plus d square 1 minus d dash square by d square so here power maximum power is 2 no need to write other terms only this is enough because if we differentiate two times we get constant so we write this one and actually this are dot 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 other term we left x square y square and multiplying this by 1 by d square 1 by d square d dash square by d to the power 4 this one we get x square y square so this is 1 by d square x square y square d dash square by d to the power 4 x square y square other terms no need to write because highest power is x square then we differentiate two terms equal constant next time will be 0 no need to write other terms other terms will be 0 so y square is constant d square means we, we can write d 1 by d 1 by d 
as a square. So this is d to the power 4 and this d dash means uh, for y. If we differentiate d dash uh, d, d square y square this we can write this is d dash d dash y square then d dash this means twice y Again, if we define it, we get 2. So, this y square, we get 2. x square into 2. We get this. Now, this one, y square remains same. 1 by d. 1 by d means integration. 1 by d means integration. This is x cube by 3. Integration x square means x cube by 3. And here, 2 taking outside. Here we have d cube and 1 by d x square. So this is y square by 3. 1 by d x cube means x to the power 4 by 4. And this is 2 by d cube and 1 by d this is x cube by 3. And this one x to the power 4 y square by 12 and 2 by 3, 1 by d square, 1 by d x cube. So, x to the power 4 y square by 12, 2 by 3, 1 by d square, this is x to the power 4 by 4. We get this one. So, x to the power 4 y square by 12, and if we cancelling this, we get 2, that means 1 by 6, 1 by d, 1 by d, x to the power 4. This will be, this is our complementary function, and this is x to the power 4, y square by 12, and 1 by d, uh, 1 by 6, 1 by d, and x to the power 4 means x to the power 5 by Pi, this one. This is x to the power 4 y square by 12, 1 by 30, and 1 by d x to the power 5 means x to the power 6 by 6. So this is x to the power 4 y square by 12, and 1 by 6 3 is 18, 180 x to the power. 6 we get this therefore the required solution required solution is z equal to cf plus pi so z equal to cf means f1 y plus ix and f2 y minus ix and this one plus x to the power 4 y square by 12 minus x to the power 6 by 180 and this is our final answer so f1 y f1 of y plus ix plus f2 y minus ix x to the power 4 y square by uh, 12 and x to the power 6 by 1 Next, we consider another problem. Del cube j del x cube minus del cube j del y cube equal to x cube y cube. The solution. So, this is d cube minus uh, d dash cube z equal to x cube y cube. Because x we write d and y we write d dash. Auxiliary equation m cube minus 1 this equal to 0 we write object for auxiliary equation we have capital d d equal to m and d dash equal to 1 so this equal to a cube minus b cube formula a minus b a square plus a b plus b square equal to 0 we know this formula from lower class a cube minus b cube equal to a minus b a square plus a b plus b square. We know this formula. 
using this formula we get this so m equal to m minus 1 equal to 0 m square plus m plus 1 equal to 0 so m equal to 1 but this is uh, we are unable to factorize again you know if we are unable to factorize then you consider quadratic formula quadratic formula is that x equal to minus b plus minus root over b square minus 4ac by twice c so using this formula here x means m b means 1 this is 1 square minus 4ac 1 into 1 2 into 1 this is 2 minus 1 plus minus 1 minus 4 this is 2 minus 1 plus minus minus 3 this is minus 1 plus minus i root 3 by 2 so we get roots are 1 minus 1 plus i root 3 by 2 minus 1 minus i root 3 by 2 this is we write uh, cube roots of unity in cube roots of unity if we consider this is omega and if we squaring this we get this if we squaring this we get this so the roots will be therefore the roots are 1 omega omega square so from this we can directly write this 1 omega omega square this is cube roots of unity that we get this is the solution if we consider this is omega this will be omega square so the complementary function will be uh, f1 1 plus y plus 1x and f2 y plus omega x plus f3 y plus omega square x or we can put this value also this for omega this one omega square this one we can put this value now particular integral particular integral x cube y cube by d cube d dash cube so again we get both are same powers so we taking d cube common 1 minus d dash cube by d cube and x cube y cube this is 1 by d cube 1 minus d cube d dash cube d cube to the power minus 1 x cube y cube again I recall the binomial series 1 minus x all to the power minus 1 then 1 plus x, x square plus x cube dot dot dot. So here we get 1 minus x, this whole is x, 1 by d cube, 1 plus d dash cube, d cube plus dot dot dot. Others, other terms no need to write because here d cube and highest power is cube. In third order is constant, fourth order will be zero. No need to write other terms. So this is one by d cube multiply with this, then this is x cube y cube d dash cube by d to the power six x cube y cube. We get this one. Now this equal to one by d square 1 by d x cube y cube and here d dash cube d dash cube means uh, d dash d dash y cube means 3y square d dash square y cube means this is 6y d dash cube equal to 6 so we get for d dash we get 6x cube by d to the power 6 we get this one and this is 1 by d square y cube is constant we can write y cube first 
this is x to the power 4 by 4 and 6 by d to the power 5 1 by d x cube we get this is y cube by 4 1 by d 1 by d x to the power 4 and 6 by d to the power 5 this is x to the power 4 by 4 if you integrate this you get this this is y cube by 4 1 by d this is x to the power 5 by 5 and this is 6 by 4 1 by d to the power 4 1 by d x to the power 4 and this is y cube by 20 y cube by 20 1 by d this is x to the power 6 by 6 and this is 3 by 2 1 by d to the power 4 x to the power 5 by 5 1 by d means integration integration x to the power 4 is x to the power 5 by 5 so this one x to the power 6 y cube by 120 and this is 3 by 10 this and this 10 1 by d cube 1 by d x to the power 5 we get so this equal to now this will be x to the power 6 y cube by 120 3 by 10 1 by d cube x to the power 6 by 6 so this will be x to the power 6 y cube 120 and this is 3 and this one cancel we get 20 1 by d square 1 by d x cube x to the power 6 x to the power 6 y cube by 120 this is 20 1 by d square x to the power 7 by 7 this is x to the power 6 y cube by 120 and this is 140 1 by d 1 by d x to the power 7 x to the power 6 y cube by 120 this is 1 by 140 1 by d x to the power 8 by 8 so this will be x to the power 6 y cube by 120 and this is if we multiply it 0 2 and this is 11 8 0 0 8 4 the 32 8 1 the 8 and 3 11 and 1 by d x to the power 8 we get so this will be x to the power 6 y cube by 120 plus 1 by 1 1 2 0 this is x to the power 9 by 9 1 by d is integration the next x to the power 8 means x to the power 9 by 9 so this will be x to the power 6 y cube by 120 and this is x to the power 9 by 0 18 this is 9 10 9 10 1 0 0 8 0 therefore the required solution required solution is z equal to cf plus pi complementary function plus particle integral so z equal to cf we know f1 y plus x plus f2 y plus omega x plus f3 y plus omega square x plus pi this is f to the power 6 y cube by 120 plus x to the power 9 by 10080 and this is our answer so i have solved this problem in details not skip 
that if I have det uh, solved this all details, so I hope you are all enjoying with this type of problem. No one can say this solution is difficult. This is very easy because I solve details. So if you are getting interested, then please like this video. If you are new in my channel, then please subscribe my channel and click the bell icon. Thank you.